So today I'm going to continue my series of reviewing my own equipment and we will be doing the irons. Okay, we're going to start with the big boy, the WXP 120 watt. Here's a few things that Weller says about it. They call it an intelligent hybrid soldering iron, 120 watt at 24 volts. It's got parameter memory such as standby temperatures and it has automatic switch off. It activates using motion. So if it's just sitting there for a while, it'll deactivate. And then when you pick it up and move it around a little bit, it'll go back up to temperature. So when you turn it on, you'll get your blinking blue LED and that lets you know that it is powered on and getting up to temperature. Once it stops blinking, it is up to temperature. And now that it's solid, we are up to temperature and you are ready to solder. As I said in the uh, video for the base units, it does have temperature recovery, so if you stick this on a ground plane or a thick, thick board, it will pour more power into the iron to recover the temperature and get you back to the temperature you have set. That is a professional feature. Not a lot of irons had that feature when I went to make purchases. For me, the choices were the low-end Hako, which I was not impressed with, or the very expensive high-end JBC. The Weller just kind of fell in between and I have not been disappointed and I've spoken to a lot of people who have both the JBC and the Wellers and a lot of them still call the Weller their go-to. Now personally beyond the specs I love this iron it is it's a beast I've run into very few jobs that I can't do with this beast of an iron for wicking for ground planes it's just awesome it, it changed my soldering life when I grab these irons that I'm reviewing in this video. So my primary tip is this big chisel. So one of the biggest things you need to understand when you're wicking a board is you generally want to have a, a tip that is bigger than the area that you're wicking so that you can get thermal saturation of the area. Sometimes just that heat has got to go through many layers. So this big chisel is what I use on even on you know, small ports like Nintendo Switch. I've yet to find anything superior to this big chisel as far as tips go. Now, in some of my earlier videos, you would have seen me using this bent chisel. I don't use it that much anymore. Occasionally, I'll pull it out for various odd jobs, but it's not really my go-to anymore. It was my go-to. I do like the bent. I wish the big chisel came in a bent, but can't have it all. And then sometimes I will switch in this knife tip. The knife tip is just a very versatile tip. It's my primary tip on another iron will cover but I like these knife tips a lot so you can go from very small to large it's just a very versatile tip so you can have up to two presets and the presets will follow the iron so if you change base stations or you have to take the iron somewhere and use a base station elsewhere your presets are programmed into the iron and it'll automatically pick them up if as long as you plug it into a compatible station the only unfortunate thing about this iron is it's kind of the older technology as far as tips go the heating element is built into the iron instead of the tip and your tips are interchangeable it's not really convenient to try and hot swap these tips that's really the only thing i don't like about this particular iron for a tip like this it is very efficient it's not like your old hobbyist irons that take forever to heat up and take forever to recover the temperature when you get onto a ground plane this thing reacts very quickly it reacts like a modern iron but not being able to hot swap is definitely a negative there's just no way around that the next iron we'll cover is the wx mp micro pencil another life-changing iron for me Let's go over some of the things Weller likes to cover on their site. It is a 40 watt, 12 volt iron. It also has parameter memory, such as standby temperature and automatic switch off time. It also has the motion sensor. It will activate when you move the iron and it will deactivate when it has sat for a period of time. These irons have the modern hot swapping technology. The tips have the heating elements built into them. So you can hot swap in the middle of a job. I don't hot swap this one very often. This is my go-to tip for this particular iron, which is the micro bent chisel. You will see it in just about every video that I do, and I rarely switch out of it, except for very specific jobs. I've not even pulled out any of those tips because I use them so rarely. It has quick power up, it has quick temperature recovery, 
and it's more capable than you expect. There are things it cannot do, but you'll try things and you'll go, I didn't expect it to be able to do that, and it will do that. And like I said, it was a life-changing iron for me. It allowed me to start doing jobs like Nintendo Switch ports and general micro soldering that I could not do with my original Hakko iron. I definitely figured out very quickly when I got quality equipment that it's not always you that's failing. Sometimes it's the equipment and equipment is one of the first things you can address. That's really all I have to say about this wonderful iron. It is a great iron. A lot of times you can get these in combo sets and if it includes this iron and another one, I highly recommend getting the combo. It's usually a little bit cheaper than buying them individually. Now let's look at the Weller WXMT, the most unimpressive iron of the set. Let's go over some of the features that Weller highlights. It is a two time 40 watt at 12 volts, supposedly for soldering and desoldering SMD components. It has parameter memory like presets and automatic turn off. It is motion activated. It has hot swappable tips, short heating time, and of course standby function. Now to my impression of it, don't waste your money. Everybody gets enamored with these micro tweezers. They sound like such a great idea such a great concept, but the execution on any tweezers you will find, I have tried many of them, falls well short of the concept. In the four years I have owned these, I have successfully used them probably about four times. I have unsuccessfully attempted to use them many times. They just don't get it done. I know there's another YouTuber out there who occasionally finds some creative use for them, but he has to find creative uses for them. And most of the time, if you watch him, he's using something else to assist it, like hot air or a preheater or another iron. These by themselves suck. There's just not a better word for it. They suck. It is one of the biggest tool regret purchases of my life. They were not cheap. My original set was a combo. I bought this and the, I want to say micro pencil combo. I would avoid any combo that include these because again, it's gonna go into your shame pile just like it goes into mine. It doesn't matter what tips you try, none of them get it done. Interesting idea, poor execution. And that's for all manufacturers. I know Weller sells combos like the 120 watt and micro pencil or the Pico pencil on micro pencil. I, I would highly suggest going with one of those. It's usually a little bit cheaper to get the combo with the base unit and the two irons. Avoid this altogether. Now we come to my favorite iron of all of them. I didn't expect that it would be my favorite iron. I bought it just because it had newly come out and I was curious about it. And boy, has it been a performer. Let's go over some of the features that Weller likes to highlight. It is designed for precision applications and it delivers specifically for components ranging from 0402 to 1005s, three second heat up time, the active tip technology, hot swappable, motion sensor, memory presets, auto standby, and a wide variety of tips. And this is the iron I use the widest variety of tips on. I don't use a huge variety of them all the time, but I do switch this one out more often than most of my others. My primary tip for this one is the Pico knife tip. And as I stated on the 120 watt, the knife tip is just a very versatile tip. You can make it go small, you can make it go larger. If you need to scrape, burn, enamel wire, you can do that with it. It's just a very versatile tip. I oftentimes will switch to the, what they call a bent chisel, though it is very, very Pico chisel. It's more like a conical, but surprisingly it delivers the heat very well, even at the very tip of the iron. It's wonderful. I use it in various applications. Uh, I think you will see some videos in the near future where I had to use this tip. And I also have just the straight conical and again it delivers the heat all the way to the very tip often very shocking because you don't typically expect an iron to deliver heat to the very tip of a conical but this iron does it and this iron on the regular surprises me with what it can do there are definitely things it cannot do it is a 40 watt pico iron it can't do everything but i will try it on something that i'm not expecting it to work on all the time and it will surprise me. It is by far my favorite iron purchase. As I have stated in the base station review, 
my older base station I had to run a firmware update because this iron came out well after those were manufactured but my newer base station came with the firmware so it just depends on the base station you get if you get an older one you may have to update it if you get a newer one it probably will have it built in but anyway yes this is by far my favorite iron and if you can get it in a combo i've seen the micro pencil and pico pencil combo grab that sucker up and just grab the 120 watt when you can i would say it's the way i wish i was able to go when i bought these but the pico pencil just wasn't even around when i bought my first station this iron is my go-to iron for running jumper wire or working with lugs i thought i was doing precision work with the micro pencil but uh this completely changed the game and that's it for the irons that i use on the regular these guys here are the ones i use the most this guy you can just do without these three i highly recommend i could not recommend them higher and i have to say most of the people i speak to who have used these irons agree with my sentiment again there are cheaper options out there with some of the professional great features now these days like the presets and the temperature recovery but these are weller irons and weller has a very long and storied history of reliability if you can afford to go with weller i highly recommend it nothing wrong with those other irons if you can't but these have my seal of approval and my recommendation if you got value out of this video i think you'll get value out of this one and i'll see you there until then have a blessed day mm -hmm.